Okay, and the first one, and before we get started, I've got two different type bar magnets. Um, the larger one here, I actually, you can get these at many places, uh, but this bar magnet, actually, I got at Lowe's. And this other one, this other is smaller bar magnet, and obviously magnets uh, of different sizes and have different strengths. And we'll maybe be able to demonstrate that here uh, in just a minute. <clears throat> But the other thing is, these two bar magnets are labeled. You may not see it very well, labeled north, south. And when I take, you know, opposites attract is what you hear. So when I take the two bar magnets with north poles aligned, you can actually feel, and I think you did this in previous, you can actually feel that force trying to repel each other. And if I just simply leave them sitting here, they will align themselves the way they should be. So the, the opposite poles are attracting, the North Pole on the magnet in my right hand is aligning with the South Pole on the magnet, the left hand. I can flip them back around and they should try to self-align. Okay, well, what about this magnetic field passing through air? So I'm gonna take the bar magnet and we'll start with the smaller one. And I'm just going to get it close to this paper clip that you can see I'm already starting to get it to move. And can I drag it around? So you get it, certainly this it demonstrates that this force is actually, will it pass through air? Well, should be self-explanatory. I'm going to take the larger bar magnet and you get some idea that it's generating a little bigger, it's certainly generating a larger magnetic force or magnetic field because I can very easily manipulate this paper clip around. Okay. What about through plastic? So now I just got a plastic cup and I've got a couple of paper clips in the cup. I'm going to take my smaller bar magnet and we will see if we can get this magnetic field to pass through this plastic. Can I drag these, move these paper clips around, which are have certainly made out of metal or have iron content, and you see that that is possible. What about with the bigger magnet? It does something very similar. <clears throat> Actually, it, it moves them both around a little bit easier. The other thing you could do is, uh, um, the other experiment is to look at glass. So I could put paper clips in the glass. Um, but then the other one, an additional is to, will it pass through water? So we could put some water in the cup or the glass or pan or whatever you want to use. What about paper? So I've just got this folder. I'm going to put some paper clips on top. And I'm going to put my bar magnet underneath. And can I get it? Can I move them around? Will it pass through paper? So I think you have an answer. <clears throat> Let's try the larger bar magnet. So you get the idea of this passive force. <clears throat> we can't see it, this magnetic field, but it is certainly present. So the other thing to do is, you've got a couple other experiments you can use. You could do some additional ones. You could look at pieces of wood, or some other materials, you know, uh, lay the paper clips down on a tabletop, see if you can put the magnet underneath. And you've got tabletops of various thicknesses. So you certainly could add to the list of experiments. <clears throat> 